What's going on guys? 8BitGlitz79 here. I'm here to talk about a trip I took down to one of my favorite retro stores near me called Stateline Video Games in Feeding Hills, Mass. They were having a special customer appreciation event, so I went to check it out. Stay tuned. Okay, like I said, this store was having a customer appreciation event. It was actually happening the Sunday of the Southeast Game Exchange weekend. And I planned on going to the South Game, uh, Southeast Game Exchange, but it didn't work out. So I figured since I saved so much money on a plane ticket and hotel, food and all that stuff to go there, that I would take some of that, a tiny portion of that, and go down to this event and have my own Southeast Game Exchange, so to speak. So I'll show some footage here of the store. I probably plan on doing a real tour of the store sometime. So this is just quick. I didn't do a lot of footage, but it's a quick overview of the store and of the free play area that he just put in place. Because he does a lot of birthday events as well at this for kids and stuff. They got birthday parties there and play games and, and whatnot. So here we go. Here's that footage here. Okay, so as I said, that was just a quick um, shot of the store. Um, hopefully someday I'll go there and do a real, like, overview of the store and maybe talk to the owner and, and stuff. Uh, so, you want to see what I got? So, he was having to sell a certain value of games. I think it was like the $10 and under ones were like buy two, get two free. And then anything that was more than $10 is buy two, get one free. So, I got a few things. Um... So, the first thing I saw that I, because I really didn't plan on buying much, because I didn't think 
I was gonna get anything. Uh, but then I saw this, and I've been looking for this. And he had it kind of like up on display in that middle, um, that counter you saw with all the N64 stuff and all the N64s. Right on top of that, he had this sitting there, and I went, oh my god. It's House of the Dead 3 with a sealed Xbox, original Xbox Lite gun. Now, I've been looking for this game and a light gun um, for a long time now. Um, so to see this was awesome. Now, it was $30, um, which is not bad because if you look this gun up on like eBay, it's like $24 not sealed. So having a sealed gun and then this game to go with it for 30 bucks, I thought was a pretty awesome deal. Um, so I'm really into light gun games, so, and that, I mean, manual is pristine, it's complete, so that kind of kicked off the sale and stuff. So it kind of was like a, a downhill spiral from there, because now I spent 30 bucks on something, now I'm in the buy two, get one free um, thing, so let's see, so what I picked up then was this copy of Metroid 2 for the Game Boy because I've been planning on beating the NES one because I've never done that in my life. I love that game. I never really beat it. No, I take that back. I did beat it once way back. I remember now. I did beat it. Uh, it was a hell of a time, but I plan on following uh, Mega Dan's playthrough. He did live stream. Um, I forget. Somebody was helping him. Who was it? Somebody was helping him along. So I, I planned on kind of using that as my like playthrough guide to beat it again and then I'm going to move on to, to this uh, part two. So then I got one for free and I'm probably going to get it all out of order. Um, I can't remember when I got free. I don't know. I'm not going to figure that out right now. Uh, I'll just show you what I got. So those were some of the big items and then I got some NES games here. Let's see. Two of these were free because these fell under like the 10 or something and you got one free. So nothing big, just eight eyes. Because I was reading uh, Pat Contry's NES book and it sounded interesting to check out. I never tried that, so it was cheap. Uh, I got another light gun game, Barker Bill's. Um, is that trick shooting because I plan on doing a whole NES light gun stream so that's another one I'm going to add to it uh, NARC because I didn't have it and whatever yeah. it's a fun game and then I got Donkey Kong Classics I need, still need to get the original Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, for the black box set but for now I got this because um, it was found it cheap there. Uh, so two of those were free uh, from buying those. Um, then, let's see, I got four PS2 games. This game I got, and I think he actually gave me this one free because it was really only a dollar and he just threw it in. Um, it was NFL Game Day 2004. This Dr. Josh, the real gamer recommended this literally like the day before I went or the two days before I went down there so I saw it in the dollar bin and I figured oh, yeah, I'll grab it for a buck it ended up being free and it is complete even with the registration card <laughs> um, so why not uh, then I found I didn't know PS2 had uh, this game but I've been into the Fire Pro Wrestling games and I didn't know there was one for the PS2 so I found that it was complete decent um, manual uh, the case is a little cracked right there but I don't care so that was cool to find and then I got these two for my kids figured I'd get them something my oldest has been into Kingdom Hearts lately so I had part one I never had part two so I thought I'd grab part two and I know they I think they released these like remastered and all that but I wanted to play the original um, and then Toy Story 3 because my youngest is big into Toy Story right now um, with the new movie being out and everything so I hope to do maybe a, a stream 
with them with these. Um, and then another buy two get one free. Uh, I got two Super Nintendo games and a Genesis game. I got because um, I've been I'm really into beat 'em ups and I never played this one. Uh, hey Punk, are you tough enough? So I got that. I got. Uh, this I saw somebody stream. I'm not sure if it was Mike Matei or just some random person, but it looked really cool. It's a uh, Bob or B O B. It looks like you're like a bug. It's like you're a bug and it's like a platforming shooting kind of game. So that was cool. And then for the free one, I got Loose Dinosaurs for Hire, which Mega Dan just streamed this and beat it. Um, so now now I feel. The need to have to to play and beat it <laughs> but I got this the same weekend he got it at siege so it's kind of funny so that was cool uh, I've been looking for that one for a while uh, and then a couple things I just bought they weren't free or anything like that was I got time crisis now if you time crisis four this is like four dollars now if you saw my previous video you know that I found and got a complete gun sensors box game everything for 20 bucks so this is kind of like not necessary now so if anyone's looking for time crisis 4 and has a gun or i believe you can even play this like a first person shooter actually it has a mode so you can play it like a call of duty or something but if anyone's interested in this give me a shout out and i'll and i'll i'll, I'll hook you up um, then the last thing, because something I've been looking for, and I always forget to get it at a flea market or a tag sale, and after several years, I have not come across one in the wild. And so they had one, it was five bucks, so I grabbed it. It's the Wii uh, Perfect Shot, the Nyko. This is like, I've been, because I have the two Lynx crossbow ones, the big long, like, rifle-y kind of ones. And it's so uncomfortable to play with those. So I'm so glad to get this. I just need to find another one now for two players. But that was basically my pickups from that event. Uh, he always puts on these great events, uh, customer appreciations or free play events. And they're always a great time. A lot of great people to talk to. Um, there's a certain per He doesn't set up the consoles. This other person brings them in and all these CRTs you saw and sets them up and he's a really cool guy I always have great conversations with him when I go there um, he's very knowledgeable about the different stuff and it gives you a chance to play some consoles that you may have never played like um, I played the Vetrix not, I played it at this event but I played it at a previous event I never had played one before so it's cool to play it again and this time he brought a Jaguar and I never played a Jaguar before so it was cool to try that out and I would love to get one of those. I, he had Doom and I thought it was a great port of that and it was fun. So, I don't know, it's kind of pricey, but maybe someday I can find myself a Jaguar. So it's a great opportunity for kids to experience these consoles up close and personal and hands-on experience with them. And even somebody like me who's a veteran retro player but never got a chance to play some of those consoles, it's a great way to get exposed to them. Um, it's the reason I bought my Intellivision months and months ago because I tried it at, uh, at one of those events and I, he happened to have one for sale at the store there at a good price so I nabbed it with some games. So again, it's State Line Video Games and Feeding Hills Mass. Um, it's a great store, it's a great gentleman named Frank who runs it and hopefully someday I'll go back and do a, an official tour and maybe talk with Frank if he's willing to be on the channel. So until next time guys, this is 8BigGlitz79 and I'm glitching out.